<laughs> Thank you, everyone. Um, yes, I'm running as the Greens candidate in uh, the Royal House Super Class. But uh, what I'll be talking about today is more to do with uh, what my occupation is, and that's as a structural engineer. Um, one of the things I'm seeing coming through a lot in our housing construction is a move away from tim use of timber in our buildings. And this is a concern to me because if we are going to move to a low carbon economy, low embodied energy, we do need to start using our timber frame more in our construction. Now, how that fits in with um, forestry and logging is that we need to establish a sustainable timber industry built on plantation timbers. And that's critical and it has to happen quickly. And at the moment, it is not happening. And one of the reasons is because of the competition from logging in our native forests. And also, we aren't getting the mechanisms right with the carbon, carbon farming initiative to uh, set, that, set that industry up. So I think uh, one of the it's degrees we're working towards, but you know, all, all parties need to be working towards is a uh, a workable plantation system for our uh, uh, um, forestry products. Now, just one, one, I suppose, example of that I'd like to bring up is um, uh, with the new bushfire codes for our building construction, we have to now get our, when you build your house, you get your property fire rated, and it's giving the fire rating. You'll find, especially where we are around the yelling up hills, all that area is regarded as high or extreme bushfire rating. And I'd imagine a lot of areas in the southwest Bridgetown uh, management would be the same. And now with the new construction requirements, you have to build any external timber it has to be from timbers that are fire resistant. And currently in Western Australia, none of our timbers are rated to be fire resistant. So the products I've been specifying, and most designers have, and builders have been sourcing the spotted gun from the eastern states. Now, spotted gum is a timber that can be used in plantation timbers. It has been grown in Western Australia in the past, but as we found out when Giz asked questions earlier on this year in Parliament, we have stopped planting spotted gum as a plantation timber in the state. So at the moment, all our spotted gum and all our spotted gum into the future will be coming in from Eastern states. And I suppose that's a loss of an industry in this state, and a loss, you know, it's a great loss of an opportunity. So just in that one example, and this is right through all the construction we're doing, all of a sudden we're transferring all our external timbers in these areas from the eastern states. The other aspect that happens as well is that we're also using quite a lot of uh, rainforest timbers as well in our building construction. We're seeing a lot of stuff coming from Malaysia. In order, you know, if we can get ourselves a plantation timber industry local, which is servicing a lot of our local industry, a lot of that can be um, put off. So, as far as I can see from an engineering point of view, I see that getting the uh, getting our systems right to get a plantation timber industry working in Western Australia is critical. And as far as leading into again the forestry argument, is that while we continue to log our low-grade um, forests, that's what's coming out of it at the moment, and it's undercutting the ability of our plantation timber industry to uh, to get up and running. Um, we're we're just not making that next step to where we need to be in the future. Thank you. Okay.